Hey guys, hello from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Tonight, we are heading in here, well this afternoon I should say, we're heading in here and I'm meeting up with some friends and we're gonna just hang out and have a relaxing Animal Kingdom day, see what the crowds are like on a hot as all get out day. I kid you not, it is, heat index kind of feels like it's 100 out here today. It's crazy. <laughs> It really feels like we are in the rainforest, let's just say that. So it's appropriate for this park, you know, Disney's just amped up that theming even more so. But I'm excited for today. I haven't been over here in what feels like forever, and this is one of my favorite parks. I always say it's between here and Epcot, but I'm very happy to be back here right now. We're gonna definitely stay hydrated, stay in the AC as much as possible, but yeah, we'll see how many rides we can get done tonight with, you know, hopefully a little bit more low crowds. Just coming in here, doesn't seem like there's that many people also heading in with me. Everyone's probably back in the AC for their midday rest. But I'm hoping there's actually some new treats that premiered here at Animal Kingdom. There's one that's at the Starbucks location. It's a really cute um, Heimlich cupcake or not a cupcake it's like a they're calling it a brookie it's like one of those brownie cookies and it just looks adorable like presentation wise so we might get some treats it's gonna be a fun fun evening I just thought about this when you come into Animal Kingdom what way do you typically go do you go to the left or do you go to the right I feel like most of the time I go up to the right it's one of those kind of crazy things almost like in World Showcase do you go clockwise or counterclockwise I usually go clockwise around World Showcase but typically I go to the left when I come in here to Animal Kingdom. So because of that, I'm now going to the right because we gotta change it up, we gotta keep things fresh. I was like seeing these front displays that they have too as you're walking in of all the animals. It's kinda easy to rush past it because you're just so focused on like getting into the park, but on either side of you, they actually have little animal exhibits. And then I was like turning up the pathway and coming into this center section as you're walking in and they have this little bridge over here. This is also the best spot to do photos. I've actually seen some people doing like photo shoots on this bridge before. It's one of those like kind of bouncy ones. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this magical moment. Hi! <laughs> That's such a perfect entrance into the park. <laughs> Here we are in July 2023. They still have these 50th anniversary statues, which I mean I like because these interact with if you have the um, Disney Plus, not Disney Plus band, what is it called? Magic Mobile, something. A Magic Band Plus, <laughs> not a Disney Plus, a Magic Band Plus. If you have a Magic Band Plus, you can interact with these statues. So it's a good thing that they have stuck around. Simba has a little friend. You know what I want to go show you on the vlog right now? This is also for my mom because me and her were literally watching another Disney creator the other day and they showed this that I'm about to show you, this lemur exhibit. And a lot of people don't even know that this is back here and I remember I discovered it a few years ago and it blew my mind. You wouldn't even know that they have these ring-tailed lemurs back here. I almost called it the Zabumafu exhibit. Did anybody else watch that as a kid? Did you watch Zabumafu? I love that show. <laughs> So here we are looking at the Tree of Life. If you go to the right hand side, there's actually the Dory and Nemo 50th anniversary statue. You just follow that around right back here. This is where they used to have a Doug and Russell meet and greet and now they've made it stroller parking, it looks like. But right here, they actually have ringtail lemurs in this exhibit. And I don't see any out right now, but this is where they are. They have their little ropes that they sometimes swing from. Here's their sign, but I think it's too hot for them at the moment. Maybe they're backstage relaxing. I'm gonna go ahead and head into Dino Land USA. And that's where I'm gonna meet up with my friends and we're gonna get this Animal Kingdom afternoon, evening started here. If you are looking to book your next Walt Disney World vacation, go ahead and contact my friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They would be so happy to help you with all of the finer details of planning a Disney vacation so you just get to relax, show up, and enjoy. You can get a free quote from them anytime by visiting 407vacations.com. And actually back here in Dino Land, this is right by the Trilo Bites. They have an annual pass holder magnet distribution for, there's three different annual pass holder magnets that if you didn't get them when they originally came out in the park, 
parks and they were distributing them, you can come here and pick them up, which I think that's so nice that Disney's doing that for annual pass holders if you missed any certain ones. I know my parents missed a few of them over the past couple months. So I think they have to come here one day. They said they want to come complete their collection. Back here in Dino Land, you can visit one of my favorite guys, the crocodile. He's right in this exhibit. What? Oh wow, this is how you know it's hot. I feel like every time I've come to see him, he's always up in his little corner spot over there. And right now I actually had to do a double take. I'm like, is he not here? He's down completely submerged in the water. He's like, it is too hot out here, people. What are we doing? <laughs> he's got the right idea. He almost looks fake, doesn't he? He almost looks like a statue of a crocodile. I forget his name. At one point in time, I knew his name because I believe he's the same guy who has been here since Animal Kingdom's opening. You gotta come visit him back here in Dino Land. He's like a real life dinosaur, I feel like. He's right across from Dino Bites. Oh my God. These kids just came over and they're looking at the crocodile and literally I just heard a kid say, it's a dead animal, they have a dead animal. The things you over here in the park, I can't even know. He, he's alive and well, he's just fully, submerged and being very still as we all want to be in this Florida heat right <laughs> we're heading down the tree of life trail and we found the first animal it's a bunny <laughs> gave us all a little jump he just came out of nowhere oh get him hi bunny I'm showing this path to my friends here so this is the tree of life trail um, the Tree Life Garden, I think it's called, and you can enter this right by the Starbucks. Like right before you get to the Starbucks, you turn down here, and this is like the best path. It's so good to take pictures back here, and you can get like a really close up perspective of the Tree of Life. And we're all just standing here marveling at the different animals. Like you notice things that you don't typically see being this up close to it. That's awesome. Look at the shark on the branch there. That's so cool. I'm so excited because one of my favorite animals to always see here at Animal Kingdom is the cotton top tamarind. Oh my gosh, are they in there? And the cotton top tamarinds just had babies here at Animal Kingdom. I've seen video online and it is adorable. They like jump up and crawl on the mom's back. Oh my gosh, wait, are they in there? Where are your babies at? Oh my gosh, look how little. You could see him so well a second ago. So hard to see filming through the gate, but look at him. Oh, he's so little. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look, there's two of them. It's twins. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at him jump. The parents just jumped up here. They're like, we're going on a little date night. They left the babies. Oh wait, the baby's gonna try to come up. Look how little he is. Oh. My day is made. That was the thing I wanted to see here so bad, was the cotton top tamers. Forget the treats that are new premiering at Animal Kingdom. That to me is the highlight of, of Animal Kingdom right now. That was the best. Seriously, those little guys, the cotton top tamarinds, are the ones that I love to see when I'm here. Like I always like to stop and look at them. So when I saw that online that they had had babies recently, I, I knew I had to get over here. We're here today to welcome you to the festival of the Lion King. It's incredible this cast member is actually doing ASL over here. Make a snorty warthog sound!
is my favorite part right here. I love this scene. forward a little bit in the vlog but we watched the festival of the lion king at animal kingdom and that was so so good it's one of those ones that i love so much and i hadn't seen it in a while and every time that i then go back to see it i'm like oh my gosh i need to come see this all the time it's just the performers in that are so incredibly talented and we were sitting right in the front row and it had been so long since i had that vantage point so it just made it like such a neat perspective um you know you see like all the performers like their facial expressions and everything and they just do such a good job but a little bit of a flash forward here i now actually came over to animal kingdom lodge so one of the disney resorts <laughs> And all the times that I've been over here, I just discovered this little, like, there's the DVC desk right there. There's the, also, mask. Um, I'll link a video where my friend Kyle, when he was working here, he actually learned all about that. And he described it in the vlog the one day. But if you turn right there and come down this little path, they have this library room. And it's just so quiet. I'm the only one back in here. They have artifacts, pictures, and they even have this private viewing deck that you can come over and come out and look at the animals. Like, what? Can't believe I never knew this was back here. Like, I had never seen this before. This is actually, this looks so familiar. I feel like when I stayed here, this was a couple years ago. So it was actually, oh my gosh, it was either 2014, I think, was the year. It was actually the trip right before I began vlogging. So yeah, 2014, I think, I stayed here. It was me and my parents. I wish I actually would have started vlogging back then, so I would have had footage of us staying here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. But I feel like we were one of these rooms that was like right over here, because I remember seeing this pen. And I'm sure that they have other locations like this around the resort but I don't know this just seems very familiar just like the waterway there everything looks very distinct from when we stayed here so I think it was yeah just right over that way somewhere oh my gosh I see one bird walking I actually think that might be um what's his name Casanova I actually think that might be him I know he's definitely that type of bird what if this was a Casanova spotting the famous bird of Animal Kingdom Lodge I will also link the video. Actually, it may be the same video um, when we were here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We also explained about who Casanova is, but he is um, a very famous bird here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I just came inside of the Animal Kingdom Lodge gift shop, and I don't know if this is like, they probably have more Lion King specific things here because it is Animal Kingdom Lodge, but look at this. I've not seen this before. They have, it's a ring set of Nala and Simba playing together as like little babies. They also have little Simba earrings as well. That's really, really cute. I could look at Disney jewelry all day. It's like my downfall. <laughs> So right now I'm doing just one of my favorite things and it's been a while since I've done this and I need to make it a thing again <laughs> that I will just come over to a Disney resort and just literally walk around and just relax like I just sat over here by the pool for a little bit I actually was like catching up on some work stuff different things like that so it's very nice 
it's just really nice. Kind of clear my head, just relax by the pool. So I've been over here so many times to these flamingos and I just noticed this. It's like a little sculpture of a lizard. I've never seen that there before. Oh my gosh, well this is so exciting. So I just was watching the flamingos over there. And then they also have a second viewing area typically that's up here, but I just saw this. Privacy please, the flamingos are nesting. You can view them from the front area. So I guess maybe they have nest or something so they don't want people getting too close to disturb them. <gasps> that's so cool. We're gonna have baby flamingos. So this was so fun. I'm glad I decided to do this. Just like a little, like literally spontaneous <laughs> trip to Animal Kingdom Lodge. I mean, it's one of those things, it's literally so close to um, Animal Kingdom proper, like the Animal Kingdom park, like Animal Kingdom. <laughs> so yeah, it was just kind of like a no-brainer. I was leaving the parking lot and I was like, I haven't been there in a while. I just want to go over and literally walk around, did some work, just kind of hung out and relaxed for a bit. But now it just started raining, so I'm going to go ahead and head out and get back home. But this was a very fun little afternoon. Okay, it is raining now, but I made it back to the car and this was a fun little afternoon So a lot more of these little jaunts like this to come. I'm excited to have more Flexibility in my life to be able to just do a little meet up with friends for literally like two hours at Animal Kingdom And just kind of come out for the day So this was very relaxing and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here and with that make today magical and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye